guys. How are you? All right, so um, today is the last day that I'm going to be available um, for bringing you items. So it's kind of a little bittersweet because on one hand, I'll have all this extra time all of a sudden which to create, which I'm so excited about. But on the other hand, I won't be able to like help you guys and see you and like inspire you and do back and forth stuff and talk about all the things. So anyways, I'm gonna miss you all. But I hope you're all staying healthy. I'm staying very healthy. I'm disinfecting my shop like all the time. When I like go to do curbside delivery, I come back in and disinfect. Like I'm trying to be really aware. So, okay, so I'm doing one more uh, tour of the shop so that I can show you what I have. And then today is gonna be the last day that I'm gonna be able to do um, curbside um, pickup. Um, from here on out, if there's something that you really, really need, I, I really want to work with you. Um, so if you're really needing something, um, give me a call um, and if I know exactly what it is I will we'll do my very best to pop in grab it really fast and then deliver it to you if you're in Bellingham or ship it out to you if you don't live here in Bellingham um, I just I really want to help accommodate um, because I know that if you're like I just need a little bit more glue and if I just had Ellie I could just be like yes I know the exact glue you need and I could just go get it and then deliver it so um, anyways let's work together to try to make that happen okay so here we go yay stop all right, so for those of you that just watched my tour of the shop the other day, this isn't a whole lot of new stuff, but here we go. All right, so this is sealing wax here. Um, and sealing wax is this really cool melty stuff here. I know that you guys are like, oh, I already know what this is. Um, so I have some really fun ones um, to show you. Sealing wax is cool because it kind of adds like this old, old timey kind of element. And it's kind of exciting. So I've been bringing these in and the little handle is an owl. So cute. And then the um, little seal part, um, the letters, um, the, it's the, just letters of the alphabet, but they're Harry Potter font. Love it. So I have lots of those, so if you're wanting one. Um, I sell those for $12, they're pretty cool. And some of the other new ones um, they have, this is kind of, I love the handles on these, they call it the key handle. I'm not sure I consider that a key, but still very cool. And then the font is kind of a swirl font. Of course, it's reversed um, to what you would um, see because when you stamp it in, it's obviously gonna be upright when you have it. Right. So anyways, and some of my other favorite ones, a little star. So um, the tiny little ones, these ones I'm showing you here, these ones with the tiny little images like this, that star and this little raven here, these are 850. So, and then you can always do a drip wax. Ah, so fun, and then you drip it and then you put the seal in. So cool. Okay, then we're gonna come over here. I have some tiny little um, wood mount stamps, which I love. I'm gonna pull this off here really fast. Bear with me, guys, so that I can pull this off to show you. Oh, oops, here we're going over here. All right, so here we have a little bunny, the little guitar, so cute. The little dove, the tiny little fishy, the teapot, so cute. All right, sorry about the phone ringing in the background, you guys, you just have to kinda deal with it. It's the other shop here. All right, then of course I have some fun pens. So we have the um, Uniball pens, white, gold, black. These here are a little bit kind of a um, fountain tip. I'm gonna set this down again. Sorry guys, I know you're like, I'm getting motion sickness. I apologize. Okay, so these ones here have this kind of tip and it's a disposable fountain pen. Really fun to play with. I love I love new pens. Okay, for those of you that know how to do what the tiny little stamps are, did you see the llama stamps? So cute. And there's a die cut that matches that one. For those of you that love coffee, the coffee stamp is really fun. Coffee, coffee craft repeat, so cute. Oh, hi you guys. Everyone's watching today, how fun. All right, let's move on. Okay, then for those of you that didn't see, I also got a bunch of these uh, super adorable little stickers in. As you guys probably saw these the other day, but I don't know if you really appreciated how cute they are. All right, so we have the little chickens, farm, tractor, sheep, whoops, llama, tacos, hot air balloon, Unicorn stickers, rainbow. These are all, by the way, just $2. They're just $2 a piece. 
sea turtle, koala, oh, where'd you go here? Monkey, oh wait, I'm sorry, this is a panda, not a koala, ha, that's a koala. All right, then we have the little birdies, flowers, flowers, cassettes, so cute. Little bear, moose, and the Yeti. Adorable. All right. Sorry about the glare, you guys, here. Some more Easter theme stickers. Some birdies. Some fun boy themed ones. Birthday hearts. Stars. Heart stars, horseshoes. Sorry. The little lucky charms on you guys. Rainbows. Unicorns. Sorry about the phone ringing again. They are closed today. So, okay. Then I have the pens. I also have the Micron pens in stock. Deco foil. I know some of you love my Krylon pens. I also have the Krylon pens still in stock. These are brush pens, by the way. They're um, metallic brush pens, which are really cool. Glaze pens, photo corners. These are clear photo corners. Sorry, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Clear photo corners, needed eraser, erasers, nibs, for those of you that need it. Okay, then here we have Higgins Ink, Cali Black Ink. This is bleed proof white for making your galaxies so, so cool. Stencil paste, deco foil, transfer gel, for those of you that know what that is. Gems. So cool, so cool. Heart-shaped gems, washi tape, whoops. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out where my camera is here. Washi tape, there we are. This is floral washi tape, wide floral washi tape. Super fun. Okay, some holiday washi tape that has all of this washi, all these washi tapes in it. All of those designs. Okay, this is, these are called Nouveau Crystal Drops. And what those are is they are a, um, it's a type of acrylic drop, I guess. Some of you already are like, I know what crystal drops are. But they're fine line um, applicator tips. So you can actually write and draw with them. The idea is that you can do little drops, um, but you can also paint on rocks with them. So those of you looking into paint, paint a rock painting right now, that's a great tool to have. Oh, I see. Tammy, you want one of the fountain pens. What color fountain pen do you want? The fountain pens come in black, blue, and purple. You gotta tell me which fountain pen you want, Tammy. So, sorry, I'm just now reading the messages. Oh, I know, isn't the taco so cute, Marcy? Ah, I love the taco. Okay, so then we have stickles over here. And stickles are like a glitter glue, um, but they're not glue. They're just a glitter in a clear medium. Um, and so they're really fun for applying a little bit of glitter onto, um, onto paper. The shaker cards, if you guys are into shaker cards, I love these little shaker bits. So cute. And the orange ones, love. My favorite product ever. I have to talk about it all the time, you guys, because I love it. Blue star-shaped glitter. Gold star-shaped glitter. By the way, you're probably like, oh, these are so expensive. Not. They're only $4, you guys. Amazing. An amazing product. Oh, love, 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 love. Okay, other pens that I love. Brush pens. Now, brush pens are, um, I sell for $2.95 a piece. Oh, you want a blue one. Okay, Tammy, you got it. I'll set aside a blue one for you. Done. Okay, um, so the brush pens are really cool because um, what you get is you get a brush pen on one side and you get a bullet point on the other side. Um, you can also do watercolors with these. Ah! Oh my gosh, sorry everyone, that just fell. Ah, so scary, okay, we're good scared me okay anyways so brush pens are really cool because they can have um so you can do watercolors with them or you can get that um, heavy line or fine point line so it's like a faux calligraphy um i'm actually going to be doing um probably not today but um starting tomorrow i'm going to be doing some daily demo videos for you guys to inspire you and i'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with brush pens because there's so much you can do with them sorry to just scream at you guys um anyways brush pens are really cool so if you haven't played with them yet i highly recommend it um what i sell 
them for is $2.95 a piece, but it's a baker's dozen, which means you get the 13th for free. Um, so for those of you that are like, I really want some brush pens, um, after this video is over, give me a call um, and I'm happy, I can always do a video chat with you on Zoom or on Facebook video, Facebook Messenger, and we can pick out some pens together and then that way you can get the colors you really want. Um, or you can go online to, and look at the Tombow. It's T-O-M-B-O-W and look at the color chart and then call me with the numbers that you want and I'll pull those for you. So anyways, options, there are options available. Okay, here we go. All right, now moving on to other parts of my store. It's shocking how much I have here, you guys. Okay, so I know that um, when I was doing this the other day, some people were saying that they didn't mind so much that they, um, they could actually see a lot of this stuff. Hold on. Oh. Oh, hi, I see Rainbow Girl says, please share the pen. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex, I know. Oh, you want two blue ones? Okay, I'm on it. All right, sorry, I keep like randomly reading these messages as they pop up. Okay, here we go, stamps, yay! Okay, so if you haven't seen this adorable birthday set, it's so cute. Okay, you guys might not be as into stamps, but I love stamps, they're really fun. All right, this one I've been using a lot recently to make cards. Look how cute this is. Best part, the dog. Remember when I made that accord that, that a card that opened up and there was the long wiener dog inside? Hold on, I'll show you the card. I have it right here. This one, remember when I made this card? So cute, this dog, that's this guy. Adorable, so, and the little cat at the top, so cute. So it's only a 12.95 stamp set. That's a pretty fun one. Good for planners and stuff. If you guys are into planners, bug stamps, so cool. Leaves. I'm gonna try you. Try to show you some of the other things that I did not show you yesterday. So this is kind of an in, or the other day. This is kind of an interesting stamp set. You're like, oh, what the heck do you do with that? I stamped and layered it to do uh, this kind of background kind of a thing here. This is a really cool die cut that I did have in stock, but I'm currently sold out. It's going to be a while before I have that back in stock. Oh, I did drop some other things, but I'll come back to that. This is a nice religious set for those of you that like religious sentiments. It's pretty good also for Easter. Speaking of Easter, Easter stamps. Bye, Rainbow Girl. See you later. All right, stencil times. So these are packs of three stencils for only $6. It's an amazing stencil set. And this has been one of my favorite stencils. Star. And then you got two other designs. Again, a great stencil set for just $6. All right, these ones have been really fun, very popular. So we have the tree stencil, which is really cool. And then also this kind of circuit board stencil, I guess we'll call it. Pretty fun. That's been really enjoyable. Now, this stencil down here is really neat. It's a layering stencil, so what you do is you um, do your uh, coloring with one first, and then you do your second layers of coloring with the second one. Um, and that's been really interesting, um, just to kind of see the results. You're like, what does that even look like? I'm so glad you asked, because I have a sample. Well, I thought it was up there, hold on. It's right here behind you. Behind you, camera. So it looks like this. People have been really liking this sample. Um, and how this was done is that we use blending brushes, which is what I talked about, that must have been a couple days ago, on Saturday, when I showed you how to do the cloud stencil, that's a blending brush. So we use the blending brush and that stencil and this ink pad, it's the Berry Blast very blaze, sorry, ink pad. And has all these little mini ink pads on it. And so when you pick up, use the blending brush, pick up multiple colors, you then can get that really cool look um, with your layering stencil to get that awesome tone on tone, these brights and light colors there. Really, really neat. Tracy made that stencil, so or that sample, so cool. She didn't make the stencil. That would have been even cooler. Okay, then I also have, same idea, pine cone. So you get the layering, which is really neat. So you get that kind of effect. So that's kind of a fun one. I also have the Lawn Fawn cloud stencil here. And this has these big bushy clouds. So when I showed you um, that little cloud sample the other day, um, I really like the small cloud look, but these are big clouds. Um, this is a sample they sent to me, but you can see the cloud shape here is really big and bushy. It's a lot different than the little one. 
the little clouds look like this and the big clouds look like this. So you can really see the difference here. So big cloud stencil is $7 and that's from Lawn Fawn. The little cloud stencil is just five and that one comes from Rosie's Roadshow. Okay, sorry, I'm moving along here you guys. Wow, I'm not really moving very quickly, but I'm getting there. Okay, then I have the brass border here, also a stencil. Then I have some fun Easter sentiments, some nice Easter sentiment stamps. Llama stamps, so cute. And that one that comes with die cuts, just so you know. And for those of you that missed it, I love this sushi set that comes from Hero Arts, also with die cuts with that one. And I don't know how, why these have not flown off the shelf yet. Look how silly and cute these are. Ah, love. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna start, just continue to scream at you because I'm just so excited about all the things. I love all the things I bring in, you guys. All right, little doggies. Look at this guy running. <laughs> Adorable. The birthday box. Fun. Okay, this is a Koi background stamp. I know someone asked me earlier about this. It is a background stamp. You would want to put it on your stamp platform so you get a full impression all at once. Um, online, they gave me a sample where they did a circle um, and then they um, cut it and mounted it on top. Um, yes, the sushi set does come with die cuts. So the sushi set is $17. And the die cuts that match are twelve dollars. So if you want it, just message me below, um, message and let me know if you want it set aside. And then when this is over, um, give me a call and I can do credit card number over the phone. Okay. Oh wait, sorry, I'm not done yet. Done yet here. Oh, okay. Also, these amazing background sets. We have the um, umbrellas, so fun, and also this one which I just love. I thought this would be kind of cool if you did it on gel plates, would be really neat. Or you could stamp and box it in rainbow. Ah, so much fun. That's gonna be a really fun class later on. Also, this is such a great set. I love the silhouettes here, really nice. All right. Okay, oh, we already did that side. All right, so these are some fun stencils. I'm just gonna kind of pull this back a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, these are jellyfish up here. Then we have some wood grain, some fun geometrics. Anyways, I'll just let you kind of look at that a little bit. These are fireworks up here, in case you wanted to see that. You could also do a fun little background if you would like um, in rainbow colors. Also, I just love this stencil. Ah, so, 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 so cool. So cool. And this one's really neat too. I love the movement on that. Oh yeah. All right. Ooh, that's such a great idea, Marcy. Yes. Do you want me to set it aside for you? The circuit board stencil is, I have one left. It's 550. It's pretty cost efficient. Let me know if you want that and I'll set it aside for you. Okay. Here we go. Let's keep on looking here. Okay, I have a bunch of Lawn Fawn. So um, Lawn Fawn is this really adorable company, those of you that know. Marcy was just talking about the little robot she got for me. Robot. Robot! So cute, this guy! All right, you got it, Marcy. I'll set it aside for you. So, so fun. I love a lot of these. I'm just going to show these to you real fast. We have the, um, oh my gosh, cactus, the little llama guy. The puffins, which have been really popular. Most of these have die cuts in stock, so just let me know if you want something. Um, the peacock, this goes with the before and afters. These little guys, look how cute they are. They're little costumes. Ah, so precious. Okay, this is really cute. This sentiment right here, find happiness in the little things. I have used it so many times. I love it. I specifically used it in this card. Find happiness in the little things. And then look on the inside. Yay. So cute. I thought that was a fun one. I know, right? So cute, so cute. Okay, sorry guys, the phone is just continuing to ring. And the kitty, the good luck kitty. Aww. Easter times. 
This is going a lot longer than I planned. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. I love sharing things with you guys. And there's no one else here, so enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> this set is so freaking cute. The dandelions sending wishes. Have a dandy day. Ah, so cute. So, so cute. This one is fun. This is part of that sample I just showed you from Lawn Fun a little bit ago, wherever that sample went. This guy, where they're jumping up in the air. But this is really good because it says, have an uplifting day, which I really like. I thought that was really sweet, you know? Um, anyways, jumping up to say, you say happy birthday, the little um, trampoline, the little bouncy lines. That's real cute. So that's a fun one too. I really like that. All right. And then they, off, they have all these really cool space ones. So you can like, uh, I don't have a whole lot of space ones in stock right now, but this one is really fun too. And like I said, most of these have die cuts. If you're into bugs, bug stuff oh you want the good luck kitty too sure do you want the die cuts too marcy um the stamp set is nine dollars and the die cuts are 13 so you just let me know if what you will want from that but i'll set i'll set the stamps aside for sure you just let me know if they want the dies all right so then we have the bug stamp which i was just showing you let's see if you guys, i don't know if you're into the before and afters but this is really cool because you have the trees or the leaf, the leaves on the tree, and then they're falling off, and then they're budding. So that's kind of a cool one. Um, neat guy. And then I know this, these are old, but this is the typewriter set, and then the typewriter bits that go in it. Um, let's see. Can you see the fortune kitty again? And what is the cost with the die? Okay. So Marcy just set aside the good luck kitty. So I'm out of the good luck kitty right now. So um, the good luck kitty is nine dollars. So if you want it, you just gotta let me know. Um, and then the die is going to be 13, but Marcy just set aside the die. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was not expecting this to be so popular. You guys are just gonna have to type, type faster. Say, I want that, it's mine. Sorry guys, long form is really popular. So, okay. This is a Mother's Day border die. This one here is um, half the, or Be My Valentine border die. And then I have the mushroom border, which I love. It's one of my favorites, you guys. The mushroom border, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> you collect the real ones. Look how cool. This die cut is amazing. It's one of my favorites. I've really, really enjoyed that. Okay. Then this one's kind of cool. They call this, I can't remember what it's called here. Um, it's this backdrop that does, oh gosh, a Bayou backdrop, which does like this really cool, um, what do you want to call that? Uh, oh, that tree, the Weeping Willow. Okay, oh yeah, not a problem, Jojo. I'm always happy to help you. Um, yeah, so the, um, the stamp set is nine and then the die cut that match I said was 12 or 13 the die cut is 13 so um the die cuts tend to be more expensive than the stamps i don't know why that is but thanks for asking i'm always happy to help you guys and then the only interactive die cut i have from lawn fun right now is the flippin awesome one which is pretty cool um anyways the dies okay so the die cuts go in a home die cut machine so if you don't have a die cut machine then you may not understand how they work um basically what it's like a pressure system the die cut machine kind of looks like a pasta maker it's a little weird and then these templates these metal templates go in it, and then as you roll it through, it pops the shape out. So it just takes a couple of seconds. You don't need to plug anything in. You can just run it through and pop the shape out, which is really cool. Um, so I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you don't have a die cut machine, you won't be able to use these. But I do have some die cut machines coming. And the die cut machine, um, you only have to buy one time. It's a $94.95 is what I sell it for. It's a $100 machine. Um, but it's really cool. Um, and you can make professional looking cards really quickly. So that's what, die cut, that's what die cuts are. So now you know. Okay, moving on. I think I bought all the sides here. Yes, I did. Okay, now we have a ribbon. I'm gonna undo this here again. So ribbon, I sell by the yard. I have some fun ones here. My gold, which I love. Isn't this neat? This stuff I thought would be kind of cool if you wanted to weave something through. Stars. More leaf ribbon. All my leaf ribbon I sell for $1.25 a yard. It is so, so cool. Right. I have a lot of my reds here still out. Whites. 
more more leaf ribbon. This, oh, the burgundy leaves, so cool. I love these sheer with the metallic dots as well. If you haven't already, um, playing with the fun fur in card making is really fun. It adds a lot of dimension, which I've been really into. And then I have some fun shears, um, wide ribbons, which have been really great. This one, oh, so, so cool. I love the texture on that. So um, like I said, I sell all of my ribbon by the yard. So if there's something that you want, um, I'm happy to help you with that. So. Oh, die cut's not Liam friendly at the moment. Um, it's not a sharp thing. Um, if you guys ever came by, I'd be happy to show him. I think he'd be really intrigued. A lot of people think that die cut machines are not for kids. I recommend showing them how to how to work it and um, sitting down with them and showing and kind of guiding them a little bit. Kids really like to use die cut machines because um, when you're rolling the the crank um, and people kids love that they love the reveal and pulling it out. I've had lots of kids over the years um, help me with that and they've been really successful. Um, so yeah, bring it by sometime. I would love to have your kids and show them how die cuts work. It's really cool actually okay now I have eight and a half by eleven paper here so eight and a half by eleven paper I'm just connect and reconnect this again you guys oh that phone is just gonna continue ringing today okay so right here at the top these are these are gonna be your lighter weight papers um, and I sell them for just 20 cents a piece and that's all of those then starting here this is all cardstock which I also sell all of these for 35 cents a piece so for those of you that know paper and know what I carry I do carry um, the 80 pound Nina solar white and 110 pound Nina solar white um, okay so that's what those are then I do carry a different shades of white and off-white some that look like kind of like parchment browns really dark brown black cardstock some nice grays. Oh, Carol, I know you're watching. Your gray paper is here. <laughs> I was gonna tell you. Um, well, I'll probably bring it. Actually, I'll contact you in a little bit when this is over and see if you want me to deliver it to you. Or you might wanna wait, but I'm always happy to deliver things if I can. All right, so those are all 35 cents a piece. Okay, then we have the vellum here. Oh, hi, Lori. Aww. <laughs> Marcy, she's tr it's true. The kids really like to use the machine. It's not, it's not as intimidating as you might think. Anyways, I'll drop it. It's a fun thing. Okay, I also carry vellum and suede paper, which is this fuzzy paper. It's so cool, you guys. All right. Then I also carry chrome coat. And you're probably like, what the heck is chrome coat? Chrome coat is a paper that's glossy on one side and not on the other side. So if you're doing alcohol inks, um, it's great for that. Then I carry mirror card in um, gold and silver. It's kind of hard to see there. And I carry some star dream, which is gonna be all of these metallics. And I even have a new star dream, which is this brown. Ho oh, ho, it is beautiful. I'm just gonna say, I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you paper kind of hard to show you all the paper <laughs> just because there's so so much but I, I really do like it so I'm just going to kind of guide you like this and um, if you if there's something you want me to see to show you up close I'm happy to to do that so these are going to be the Alexander Ren key papers um, what you have here is many of them have these little squares on them back up a little bit here so you can see these are really cute with the little hearts the blue little hearts they also have pink hearts Look how cute this paper is. Oh, with the little elephants. So cute. And the tiny little elephant pattern. Super fun. I already showed you those. We have the pine cones here. Okay, so now we have some florals. Red, got some strawberry. Nancy, already have this, don't worry. Then we have the bikes, the music notes. So cute angels. We have the um, kind of pine colors, some greens. These are kind of some foresty kind of papers. And now we're heading into what I have left for winter. Sorry, I know we're not really able to see all of it. I apologize. This is the best I can do, you guys. Okay, now we have bikes. So much fun. Then we have cars, boy superheroes, dinosaurs, sharks, mermaids jellyfish I know isn't the music paper so much fun I love this one especially oh 
so, so cool. Yes, the, the words are in the movement of the shape of the paper, which is really, really neat. Then we have, yes, those are, it's octopi. Some really fun ocean papers here. I've been really impressed with. Oh, so cute. And then we have some kind of the fall, kind of um, sunflower kind of colors. Then the fruit papers here, rainbow. Some more florals, blue. All right, one more row, okay. So this here we have, these are all the wish papers. They're new from Lawn Fawn. There is a pack here that has all of them in it. And the pack here is 1050 and it has 12 of the papers. So that's a nice little price there. It's a nice price for all the papers that you get. So, ah, that is a great price actually, okay. Then we here, we have all of the wish papers, so cute. So you have the front and back are the same, but there's a light and dark. So then that way you can stamp on them or layer them and do art with them. I have a lot of florals in, oh, the llamas, so cute, so cute. Well, this video is going way longer than I planned, but it doesn't really matter, because I love showing stuff to you guys. This paper has been so popular. Oh, just love that one. This one for Mother's Day with the little hats. So cute. More florals. Oh, I have been in love with this one. And the little dogs. Ah! So all of these papers here that I'm showing you are all a dollar ten a piece. Um, except the first ones, the Alexandra Renke papers, which are a dollar seventy-five. So if you want some, just let me know. I'm happy to help you with that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you handmade papers. Now these papers come from India, Nepal, Egypt, Japan, places like that. So up there we have the Japanese Agora papers, Ingora, Agora, something like that. These ones here are have some of the fibers in them, very cool. So many of these here are made from India and Thailand. Have some really fun inclusions. So many of these, um, you see prices here, are just gonna be um, either $6.50 or $4.50 um, a piece. They're pretty cost efficient. Of course, this really cool one here with the zebras, that's an $8.50 paper. And the gold here, so cool, that's a $9 paper. All right. Then here on this side, I love the wave paper. The wave paper here, these are $7. You have the white wave, and then you have the black wave, which is really neat. Then here you have more of the solid mulberries. The solid mulberry papers here are $3.50 a piece. This here um, is kind of an iridescent paper. It's actually kind of a nice kind of origami. That's just $3. This one above it is 11 Oh, so cool. Love that with the heavily embossed paper. Then you have some fun kind of sheer ones up here towards the top. They're very, very neat and really great for um, putting privacy windows. Um, put paper up on the pri as a privacy window for to let light in, but not to let your neighbor see everything that's happening in your life. Okay, so now we'll go here to this rack. Okay, so I do have. Wow, you cannot see that. I'm just gonna take this off again. All right, so I do have some watercolor sets in stock. So I have a little one here, and this guy is $13.50, and then I have what was I'm gonna to refer to as Wendy's favorite from the old shop. Um, this one is $30.95. It's a really nice watercolor set. I do carry PVA, I have PVA in stock. The Ultimate I have in stock. And the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, I do have some of that in stock as well as Stamp Cleaner. Then down here I have all of these are packs of eight and a half by 11 paper. So all the eight and a half by 11 paper I was just showing you um, just a little bit ago, those ones are all available packs of 25 for 875. Then I do have some pop dots. I have a little bit of double sided tape in. I have some more coming. Sorry, it's taken forever. Mounting tape and then of course um, your photo squares and then your glue dots. For those of you needing clear bags, I do have some clear bags in stock. And if there's a size that you need, just let me know. And your empty blank watercolor palette there. Okay. All right, thanks all for hanging out with me. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> okay, then we have Distress Inks. For those of you needing some Distress Ink, I have some different colors in stock. So if there's something that you're needing, 
If you're needing a specific color, let me know. Oxide spray inks here. Then I have the Nouveau Shimmer Spray, which is like hard, like solid shimmer. Um, you can't see through it, it's like that shimmery. Um, then I have some Versafine Clear inks in stock. I do have some more colors coming. So if there's a certain color that you're needing, I don't know if you know what Versafine Clear inks are, uh, but they dry, um, they are stay wet long enough, you can do heat embossing, but once they dry, they're waterproof. Then I carry a bunch of these little mini ink pads here, um, just in case you're looking for a nice little mini ink pad set watercolor pencils, colored pencils, that um, dandelion pack, I have some of those in stock, cutting plates for your die cut machine, fabric markers I started carrying, shimmer markers, your Midas Touch aqua shimmer pen, water brushes, origami paper, heat gun, the little poofer thing, the, the um, dust for prepping your paper for embossing, scissors, all right, acrylic blocks, Sir, that's a um, corner rounder there. Okay, now the thing you guys have probably all been waiting for, die cuts. Okay, so these are the die cuts that I have. All right. So I'm going to get close here so I can show you. So we have the Whittles, Koala, Elephant. We have the Whale, Starfish. Clouds, the bunny. I don't know if you guys can see these anymore. Let's go this way. Let me take this off again. Sorry, I'm just putting this on and off all day. All right, then we have the monkey. So cute. Fishy. Oops. Ducks. All right, I'm gonna do this. That seems to work well. Okay, a lot of frames. Got the little giraffe, the tiny little panda. He's so cute. Penguins. That's a pretty cool one. All right, you guys, I gotta cut this short because I got customers coming. But if there's something else that you need, you let me know. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll see you later.